those of you who don't know, that is not Spider-Man 99. I am hey, Cyber Weekend is here and I am excited. Let's get straight to this. I've purchased what I can now. And then of course I'll be making decisions based on what happens. I will do my best to edit that out. Yes, this is exciting. Thank you for watching. And I'm just going to say this once and we'll get right to the openings. Enjoy the moment. If you're going to participate in this, just make sure you know you're enjoying in the moment. So much of this is still RNG based. Yes, these are great ways to advance your account. You'll see me talking about that as we get to the unit offers. But if this isn't for you, it's not in your budget or your means, or it's just not how you want to spend your real life resources. Do not. If you're feeling pressure, find a new alliance or something like that. All right, let's get to this. Let's enjoy it. I desperately would like a King Groot. I have a six star King Groot. Most of this, if you're not from my channel, I do have a fairly decent size account, a large account. I would like to get my King Groot six star awakened naturally. I see that there are some awakening gems in the deals, but if I can get him here or with one of these class nexuses, that would be fantastic. I'm wearing the lucky hat, America Chavez and Whalen in progress in the back. Let's do this. Let's have some fun. All right. Love to see, uh, well, off to a fantastic start. This is what we're talking about. This is RNG. So I will just pick my favorite champion for each of these. Ooh, five star. Okay, so that's some six star shards going there. We will be opening some featured crystals today for sure. Uh, new champion, Silver Centurion. I really love the six star. He may be going up very, very soon to rank three with all of the rank up resources I am getting and we are getting. I like that. I. I haven't had a chance to really review the offers as far as um, what I think of them. Ooh, that is awesome. That is a win. That is a win. Getting his SIG up. I like Black Panther. I have him as a rank three already. You can see the SIG is not high, but getting the SIG up would be a big, big deal. Uh, helping cancel out ability accuracy, which would be nice. So this is a win. These, these Nexus Crystals, I've already won here because these are just throw-ins. These are just throw-ins. I got excited. I thought the Jabari or the Tiger was a six star. I'm not good at counting. Um, let's go ahead and get the max sig crystal. Get as many six star shards as possible for that featured crystal. Come on. Uh oh. Too many of us are on right now. We're overloading the server. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. <laughs> This is definitely like kid in a candy store type stuff. Oh, wow. We still got more of these to go. Let's go. Let's get through this. Come on. This is definitely the precursor. This is the appetizer for the delicious Thanksgiving meal. Like you want to enjoy it. Uh, but, you know, the meal is the big deal. It did not mean to rhyme. All right. Uh, Hit monkey. Dragon man. Medusa, of course, the four star. Uh, let's get that max sig crystal. This is good. Six star Nexus hero. All right. I think that's a win. I think that's a win. Uh, Venom pool. I'm feeling the luck coming back. If you've been watching my channel lately, you know, you know that the luck has been very, very bad. We're talking like back-to-back -back overseer pools yes i know he can do some things but that is not the champion i am looking for out of the uh featured crystal so this is very very good i am very happy let's continue to work through these come on uh max sig hyperion i do like scarlet witch but that's a four star let's stick with the five stars uh whatever hella i like her better than those other two that's for sure Tiger. Ooh, oh, uh, that hurts a little bit. All right, at least we got bailed out. You know, that Max Sig Silver Surfer, you get nothing for that. So I got bailed out there uh, by Dr. Voodoo. So thank you, Dr. Voodoo. I feel like even when I'm not getting lucky, I'm getting lucky. This is a great start. This is a fantastic start. I hook. Yes. This is going very, very well. Very, very well. Oh, another six-star Nexus Hero Crystal. Yes. I 
I know a couple of you said that my luck had been so bad I was going to crush it on Cyber Weekend. It looks like you guys are correct. I'm already feeling very, very good here. I'm feeling very, you can, I'm getting excited. <laughs> oh man. And I was excited just about getting the rank up rewards. This is a big deal. Because so many times, you know, you get the six star that, you know, you didn't want. You're like, great, more sigs on Loki. I mean, I guess I'm happy that I got a six star. I'm not really going to complain. But at the same time, couldn't it not be one that I want? Like I Hulk or Black Panther? Um, my Colossus is already max sig. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? I think he was a sig 180. Let's see what happens here. Because those other are three stars. So it's not like the four star uh, shard would really matter. So I'm curious if he was already SIG 200. I think he might have been. I think he might have been. Yeah, looks like he already was. All right. It is what it is. No, there we go. We got SIG 200 Colossus. This is a good day. This is a very, very good day. When, <laughs> when that's one of the worst of your six star pools. And Colossus is very good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not overly excited about getting him. Uh, let's go and open up these Nexus crystals. I cannot believe I have five of them, and we have a lot of deals to get through. So let's go ahead and open these up. As you know, as you heard, King Groot is my target. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Here we go. I like to spin these. I like to spin these. Uh, I, I feel like it's luckier. I pop, I pop calves, spin Nexus. It makes no sense. It makes no sense, but that's what we're doing. Yes! All right. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, I'm a happy, happy person. He's going up, folks. We are ranking a King Groot. The thing now I got to figure out is my six stones, but we'll figure that out later. We'll figure that out later. We got a lot to do here. We got a lot to do. Oh, my gosh. It I. There's a couple more champions. If you've been following me for a bit, you know who it is that I, I, I'm i desperately wanting. Got to awaken the Star-Lord here. I think we still got to awaken Star-Lord. But like I said, if you've been following my channel for a bit, you know there's a couple more champions who I desperately want to get. But that, the King Groot, that's one I've been hunting for a while. Uh, this is a win. This is a win. I'm going to... Oh, man. I am... <laughs> oh, jeez. I am a very, very happy MCOC summoner right now. I am a very, very happy MCOC Summoner. Uh, um, man, this is a tough one for me. Because I believe that the other uh, the Civil War Black Panther is supposed to get buffed at some point. Sig ability matters. I do love playing Warlock. Um, I'm going to make a play in the future. Because if Black Panther Silver War becomes very good. I will want to rank Eric Three. I, I, you know, I like the character. I like the movies. I, I, I like all of that. So I enjoy those sorts of things. If he's good, I will want to take him up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Warlock is excellent. I already have him ranked through. I'm very satisfied with him uh, at his current level. So this is this is one of those ones where this is not what I would recommend someone does, but it's what I'm going to do just because my own personal way I'm playing the game. Remember, like the art of taking fun seriously, right? Like I'm gonna, this is fun. Have fun with the game. It is a game, enjoy it. So there we go, we got that. I cannot believe how well this is going. I cannot believe how well this is going. Happy, happy man. Kabam, you fix this game and everything will be perfect. All right. Um, Hulkbuster, I love, I really enjoy Hulkbuster. I think he's a great champion. Getting that SIG higher is really nice. If a, task mas a Taskmaster buff comes out soon, I may feel differently, but I think getting that SIG up is awesome. So I'm a happy, happy man there. That is a net win. These are net wins. These are all big net wins. I am having fun. They just keep coming. This is all the bad luck is now being balanced out. This is all being balanced out. This is fantastic. Oh, jeez. This is... This is not how it normally goes, folks. I think you all know that, though. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, that is an amazing haul right there. Uh, especially given what I wanted out of my... Uh, for my account. This is insane. I could not be happier. Uh, okay. All right, let's see what else there is to open up before we go and uh, 
get more of the deals and try to think that through. So let's go ahead and take a look. I think we're gonna have a bunch of six star featured crystals to open. All right. If you've been watching me for a bit, you know I would like uh, Spider-Man 99 and I would like to awaken my Penny Parker. Those are the big, big asks here. That's what we're shooting for. The luck has been fantastic. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Okay. You know, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. I do like Gwenpool. I think this is not the initial awakening, though. I think this is going to get her to 640. Yeah. All right. That's cool. I like Gwenpool. I like Gwenpool. That's a miss I am very okay with. I am very okay with that sort of a miss. That is a miss that I am okay with. Let's do this now. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That's a Spider-Man. I think we just awakened him. I'm happy about that. I do think that was uh, a really big deal for opening his damage and things like that. I don't see me ranking him anytime in the very near future, but who knows? I used to love him. He was my favorite champion in the game for a while. He actually made Labyrinth of Legends fun for me. So, all right, now here we go. Come on, come on, let's do this. Come on, Miguel. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. All right, all right. You know, I I, might, I can't even be upset about that. I cannot even be upset about that. And uh, I think there's gonna be some more swings here. I think we're gonna get some more swings if I remember what the deals look like. Okay, now I'm gonna do my best to edit stuff out. See, you guys don't have to see me like purchase stuff, whatever. And we will, uh, I'll catch y'all in a second here. All right, now I've gotten to the Class Nexus crystals. You know, there's three, they're really nice, don't get me wrong. But this for me was about uh, that two to three rank up uh, gem there, and then of course the um, the rank four materials. But this is nice, there's champions I would ideally want, but also I tried to just spread it out because I would could maybe get sig levels on champions I'd like to extra sig levels on. So here we go, you know, I like to spin these. I would like to awaken Mojo, but there are so many champions I would love to get sig levels on that it'd be hard for this to be a full miss. And yet it happened, and yet it happened. Uh, uh, because I already have Doom at max sig, not really interested in Mordo. Uh, but let's take Symbiote Supreme to Max Sig. He is an excellent, excellent champion. Very good. We're seeing him have a resurgence in war usage. And of course, if you if they've got buffs, if you can bleed him, if you can armor break him, he there's really almost no one better. He is excellent. So that is cool. cool. I'm happy to have him at Sig 200. There was actually a time where I thought he was going to play into my prestige. We're going back uh, years now here. So here we go. I would like to potentially awaken Crossbones. I would love to get uh, Black Widow Deadly Origin. And then, of course, again, so many champions I would love Sig Levels on. So uh, very hard to get a miss on this one. It'd be very, very difficult for me to miss here. There we go. This is, a, oh, I, I don't know. I mean, that is about as good as it gets. And the only way it would be better for someone in general would be as if Nick Fury was there. Uh, but my Song Chi is already Sig 200. He came to war yesterday. Rank four Song Chi, Sig 200, kicking butt. Uh, as much I think continuing to get, man, cho choosing between Aegon and Black Panther is very difficult. We know how important the Sig is to both of them. Sig 160, Aegon's kind of like good enough. Um, and I really like Black Panther, and his SIG is, I think, so important to opening up his uh, versatility. So... But I like Aegon. I just, I like, Aegon is a great champion. Aegon is a great champion if massive long-form content comes out again. I even use him, though. I use him in the EQ. I, I, I enjoy Aegon. He is a fantastic, fantastic champion. Uh, and he, I had him early as a rank three. And uh, that served me very, very well. All right, let's go ahead and get this. I would love to get more on King Groot or potentially awaken my Odin. And then of course, there's so many good champions in this game. That's why you're seeing, it's hard to just flat out miss. Cosmo Ghost Rider, baby. Easy, easy choice, easy, easy choice. I love him. Uh, 
I probably will take Hercules, Her Hercules, Hercules up as my first uh, rank four cosmic. But darn it, I love playing Cosmic Ghost Rider. He's just an absolute blast of a champion. All right, now I saw some of these Cav Crystals. Let's go ahead and open these. Uh, again, you guys know what we're looking for. If you've been watching this video, you know, you know, you know what we're looking for. You know how good the luck has been. We're popping these bad boys. We pop calves, spin Nexus. Okay. All right, I'll go ahead and take a look at the crystal, see if there's something else to open. And otherwise, we'll just jump straight into the units. But I think this is it. All right, here we go. Come on, let's do this. This would take all the pressure off, all the pressure off the rest of this opening. Let's get Miguel. Let's go, come on. Come on, here we go. Okay, uh, that is, for those of you who don't know, that is not Spider-Man 99. I am actually happy to get her though. Um, hopefully she gets a buff one day. I think she's cool and it's a new champion. So this is a miss I'm okay with. Not necessarily today per se, but it is what it is. All right. I've got all these units now. Let's go ahead and utilize them. Uh, I will prioritize rank four materials and then uh, let's go ahead and just see what else is kind of there. I know that I have to kind of unlock the big ones, which is what I will intend to do. So just looking at this, um, as much as I do not want to, let's see what the most expensive unit wise are. Looks like it's this. Uh, which seems like a good idea. So we'll go ahead and get this one. And 25%. Uh, I think I gotta go Mystic. I have a lot of Mystics I would like to rank. I enjoy the class so much. So I think I've gotta go Mystic on this and then get that rank up material is nice. And then um, these look like six stones and a six star featured crystal. Oh, all right. How come I can only buy one of these, Kabam? Why? What is wrong with you? I think I've got to prioritize the potential to get the rank four material. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then we're going to, let's go ahead and open up some more crystals here. Let's open up some more crystals. And we will start with the featured. We will start with the featured. Come on. Here we go. For good luck, the lucky hat. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Now. You will not believe this. <laughs> well, if you've been watching my video, my channel, you know the SIG on this guy. I think the game is trying to make me rank him up. It, why I could not have pulled uh, Miguel uh, this many times, I do not know. This is not the science champion that I was looking for, but it's the science champion I have. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, and then let's go ahead and open up those Ascendant Crystals. We will pop those, I will pop them. All right. Obviously I would love to get the rank four materials out of here, but we'll see what we get. I will pop these and here we go. Okay, this is that's that's really good. Uh, the nine thousand tier three alpha is uh, that is not to be under uh, understated. There, okay, so we're we're doing really well here. All right, so we're gonna go and get the rest of these uh, Cyber Weekend deals, and then go and open up the crystals instead of just bouncing around. So here we go. Uh, I see the tier three alpha. I've got to get it. I mean, that's one of the big draws for something like this. I see the crystals, we'll open those afterwards so we're not just bouncing back and forth. Uh, but I'm very excited about that. Of course, more rank up materials, uh, the better. And then we have the large um, tier six basic, which is important, obviously. That is growing, it looks like I'm now over one. And then the tier five cast catalyst selector with that, uh, the Nexus, not that the Nexus isn't important, but I'm just not as, uh, I'm not as motivated for it as I was because the champions I now want are in that featured crystal. Um, I know I have mystic champions that I want to rank. So I will go ahead and pick mystic here 
And now I have champions I would like to take to rank three, quite a few of them, uh, Clairvoyant, Hood, and probably Sigil Witch. So that was not a hard choice there at all. And then uh, six stones. Six stones. This is where this is going to get a little bit difficult. I is you know you've gotten to this point in the video. You know that I did not get Miguel. I wanted to get Miguel, uh, and I was going to sig him up, uh, but that is not going to happen now. Or I can't. It can't happen. I wanted it to happen so bad. Uh, I saw the red lettering. I got worried that I like was not able to purchase it for some reason. Um, I think I'm still going to pick science because science, a lot of those uh, champions really do want SIG levels. They really do. And uh, so even if I don't get Miguel, I will have uses for them. So I don't think this is a bad investment should RNG continue just not to go my way. Uh, okay, so it looks like they're going to ask me to select this every single time, which is fine. I'm happy to do that. So this is really just, I'm going to hold on to these until I have a champion that I really want to use them on. I mean, I even have a Cap Infinity War. I'm not concerned about finding a use for them. Just my intended, my hoped for use is not available with me today. He's not available. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. So it looks like there was some RNG involved in the unit offers, uh, but then there are just a few pure selectors. So... Here we go. So the generic, the generic is great, obviously. And then the 2020, uh, I'm not sure who I'm going to pick out of this. I'll be, I'm curious to see who I pick. I will not be picking Squirrel Girl, nor Nova, nor Longshot. Uh, potentially Mole Man to awaken him. Uh, ooh, Sigs on Sorcerer Supreme would be great. I do not have Black Widow Deadly Origin. I would like her. Ooh, Tigra. Oh, hit monkeys there too. I did not think this through well. I did not think this through well at all. Oh, my boy, Dragon Man. Professor X, who I already have at SIG 200. Cosmic Ghost Rider, Immortal Hulk, Abomination. Wow, there are some amazing champions in here. Uh, I may need to edit this because I think I'm going to sit here and think for a minute. All right, I've made my decision. It's definitely going to be Tigra. I have recently taken her to rank three. Uh, part of the Kitty Pride team that I absolutely love playing. I am not a very skilled Tiger player yet. That doesn't mean I can't become one. I know her SIG is really important. It is really nice to get it higher and higher and higher uh, to help her keep this two stances going. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Tigra. It's hard to pass up on Hit Monkey and some of these champions I don't have um, in Apocalypse because I could see me wanting to rank four Apocalypse, but I could handle that if and when I get there. I know I have Tigra and I'd like to get her up. So, um, it didn't take too much thinking that through to go ahead and get Tigra. I do wish that was a 2020, uh, 2021 selector, but uh, I get it. I get it, Kabam. I get it. All right. Please let me know in the comment section if this was good for you, if you did decide to participate or not, if you had good luck, and then also just where you're at in the game, how you're playing it, free to play, moderate spender, huge whale. Um, did you like the offers? Did you feel like they were exciting? Did they entice you to go ahead and spend on the game? I know that uh, I've recently put out some videos being a little critical of the game and the game itself and the way it's going. I hope those get fixed. Um, and this is kind of my version of like, I have hope and confidence that it will. Cautiously optimistic. All right, here we go. Uh, as I said, I like to spin these. So let's spin this out. Let's spin this out. Let's get a new champion or some nice Siglo, huh? Oh, that is that is a big win for me. That is a big win to awaken crossbones right now. Uh, I am pumped up. I, oh, man, this is this. I am not going to lament. I'm not going to lament not getting Miguel or Penny because the pulls that I've gotten in this King Groot, awakening crossbones, I am an extremely happy MCOC summoner. Still have plenty of swings at that featured crystal. And then, of course, I could just awaken Penny if I really, really want to. Go ahead and take a look at the um, where we're at now. I have not finished 7.3. I have recently finished 7.2. So there is a little bit of rank four materials. Uh, hey, congratulations, Salty War. It was really fun going up against you guys, especially uh, we had a very tight match in uh, my BG3 versus their BG3. That was very cool. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, so we'll look at the tier two. 
Tier two alpha, where are we at here? Oh, sorry, tier three, what am I doing? Tier three, so, okay, I'm, I'm actually, wow, I would be at, uh, I think two, once I finish 7.3, I have just finished 7.2, once I finish exploring 7.3, uh, looks like I'll be at two tier three alpha. So that's maybe with 7.4. Coming out, we're starting to accumulate these a little bit. <clears throat> maybe that second rank four is not as far away as I thought it would be. And let's go ahead and take a look at rank five. As you can tell, I'm still not used to rank uh, four materials. So it's tier five. Um, yeah, a little further off here, but uh, that's right, I did get the tier three alpha in those ascendants, so that would explain that. But still, not that far away, especially once 7.3 is done, and I still, I have finished uh, the Karina's challenges. I forgot about that, so that's gonna obviously make a difference too. That would put me well on the way to finishing that second one, and that would put me over to for the tier three alpha. Uh, alpha. So I'm well on my way there. And then those six stones and let's see if we have any in the overflow okay so i do have six stones in the overflow right now i'm thinking they're probably going to go to king groot uh, but it looks like i have 13 days to figure that out that's not a ton in the overflow i'm happy with that this is part of why i have not so uh claimed the karina's challenges just yet i will probably do that when i need the six stones or to make that next rank four champion getting that tier 5 cc guaranteed in the class that i want I already said it, but I hope your I hope your openings went well. Let me know how it went. Did you one was your luck good? Was it bad? And somewhere in between, and where you're playing the game? Did this encourage you to go ahead and use your resources on it, or were you just sitting it out altogether? Thank you so so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.